One of my college professors really liked to say that DNA, and life in general, is really just organic chemistry that crawls. I like that analogy, but once we start talking about chemistry as DNA, it's just a little out of my league, Matt. Yeah, it's true. The, the details in chemistry can be a little complex, especially if you don't have the chemistry background. Um, and really those details are out of the scope of our course, so what we're going to do is replace the chemistry with symbols, or our letters, to make things easier. I mean, I like it. It does seem a little easier, and just looking at the letters, I think I can see a pattern. Oh? What kind of pattern do you think you see? Well, if I look at one side, I think I can judge the letters that are going to be on the other, right? Yeah, that's actually really good and important. Sometimes when we discover a new genome, and we don't know much about it yet, we want to know what it's made of. Being able to count the number of adenines, thymines, guanines, cytosines, the A's, T's, G's, and C's, the letters of DNA, can actually give us information about how many genes might be in that genome. So take a look at this strand here. Now, if I don't give you the other side, can you tell me what percentage of the whole DNA structure is guanines or Gs? Now, this can get a little tricky, so if you get stuck, take a look at the base pairing rules. 